What is up guys, Goodzilla here, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing three different versions of 6-inch scale Godzilla 2014s. <laughs> So this is probably the last one of these videos that I'm going to be doing for a while as far as the comparisons and whatnot of different figures because these this are really only really the only kaiju that I have more than one figure of in the same scale but trust me after G-Fest I'm going to have a ton because I plan on getting Bandai versions of stuff but anyway so Yes, today is 2014. First, I have the Bandai Creation Godzilla 2014. Next, I have the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2014. And finally, I have the NECA Godzilla 2014. So, these are all pretty nice figures. Um let's see where can I start so yeah like I said this is the Bandai Japan this is the Bandai Creation this is the NECA so I guess I'll get ahead and start with detail again this is going to be sort of a review but more of a comparison so let's go ahead and start with Bandai so Bandai's detail is pretty good but it does lack in some places especially when compared to the other two figures. Here's the head. The head is pretty good. I think it's kind of small. Um, it's okay. The detailing, though, is... Yeah, it's good. It's good enough. I'll give it that. It's good enough for a 2014 figure. But I feel like in places, like especially on the chest plates, that they could have put more in there. Then down here it gets really nice. Here's under the tail. Pretty good. Side of the leg. So yeah, as you can see, the detail is by no stretch of the imagination bad. It's just somewhat lacking. Mainly because this is like a soft vinyl figure. But... Yeah, so... That's detail for this guy. Now, on to the Bandai Creation version. This guy's detail is amazing. I mean, just take a look at the head here. Gotta get it in. It, it gets out of focus if it's not at the perfect distance, so I'm kind of moving it around a lot. Here's the side of his neck. Butt loads of detail all over, especially on his chest. See all the tiny little speckles and wrinkles and dips and dimples all over the place there's his legs, his nice um, shingled legs that's the term I'm going to use from now on here's shingles on the side of his body here's the, under the tail again very detailed very nicely done uh, the head on this guy is good size unlike the Bandai so yes this guy has phenomenal detail And on to the NECA figure. This one also has very nice detail. But the only problem is, is that he's a little bit too shiny. I know that Godzilla 2014 was somewhat reptilian in the movie. And reptiles tend to be shiny. But, for a figure, I kind of prefer this dull look instead. It just looks better on the shelf. But still, the detail on this guy is phenomenal. Let's get a look at his head. Angle the camera down. Okay. Right there, and then move him back a little bit. So here's the head. Also looks pretty good. I think it's also a good size on his head, but not quite 
as good as this one here. So very good detail all over. Um, definitely commendable. Let's real quick look under his tail too. It's not too detailed, but whatever. So if I were to rank these guys for detail, I'm gonna have to say that this guy, Bandai Creation, is number one. NECA is number two, and Bandai is number three. Like, these guys are both very good with detail, but again, the only difference is, is that this guy is a little too shiny. That's just the material that NECA chose to use. That's the material they use with most of their figures they've ever made. Um, but it's still, it's still great. This guy is also really good. They're all really good detail, but it just needs more. So that's detail. Now I'll talk about um, the spines. So the spines on these guys are pretty good. A little bit disappointed with all of them, but let's just start with NECA. So here's his spines. They're like rubbery. Um, they're not very detailed at all. They have some, like, detail, but it's very, like, blurry and just not defined. I think they're sculpted well, besides the fact that they're a little dull. But the sculpt looks great, especially, like, down here with all these jagged spines. But still, the spines need more detail. Um, onto the Bandai... The spines are a little bit, and I mean a little bit more detailed, but the problem is, they are way too dull. I mean, I know it's a vinyl figure, but even this is, like, really dull for a vinyl figure. It looks good, though, I'll give it that. But I just think it would look better with sharper spines. Still could use some more detail, though. But again, these jagged spines down here look really nice. Well done. Uh... Bandai Creation, they're also kind of dull, which is a little disappointing, but I think the detail on this one is by far the best, which isn't saying very much because they're still not that detailed, but they do have like speckles and stuff and some like sculpting details just down the tail. So those are the spines. So for spines... I don't know. I'm d I think I'm definitely going to put Bandai Creation in first place. But between these two, I really can't decide. Um, I don't know. I'm neutral. I love both their spines equally. So, yes, those are the spines. I think I'll now do paint job. Paint job for these guys is kind of interesting actually. I'm gonna get rid of the NECA really quick. Put him back here. And I'm gonna compare these two. These two are pretty similar. I'll start with their main body tone. They are almost identical, but this one is a little bit of a deeper color than this one, like for the side of their body, if you can tell. In places it is also more reflective. Um but for what it's worth, they're the same color. Then, on their bellies, it's kind of reversed. I'll do this. This guy is like sort of just a dead kind of tan. Well, this one is more of a dark brown, sort of. Um, which one do I like better? I like this one better. The tan on it just looks great, and this one is just kind of one-dimensional. Alright, let's look at the mouth. Okay, this is where it kind of annoys me, because, let me get in here. Bandai kind of, um, dropped the ball with the head paint, I think, because, like, from a side view, you can see his tongue and, like, the gums and stuff, and it looks really weird. From a front view, his teeth are, like, pearly white and stuff. It's just kind of strange. Um, it's, uh, and then the eyes are like orange, and they even put, like, little pupils in there. It's nice that they put the pupils in, I love those, but the orange color's a little off. 
Whereas when you compare it to this guy, oh man, he's tall. The inside, or no, his tongue is red, but not the entire inside of his mouth, so that looks great. His teeth are also individually painted, which is phenomenal. Um, that looks wonderful on this figure. Um, what else is there to say? Oh, and the eyes are plain yellow. I know it's not completely accurate because they should have, like, pupils, but you know what? It looks boss. Um, it just looks so good. Like, look at that head. It's just so great. Then the NECA. Yeah, I'll go ahead and talk about the NECA now. Um, his body is very little in contrast. Here's its side. I'll really quickly compare it to this guy. So on the NECA, it's like a much deeper color and also shinier. Um, on this guy, it's just dull and kind of a mellow-ish, if you want to say that. But the belly is where it gets interesting, because on this guy, it's like a really deep brown. It's kind of weird. Um, it's lighter on this one, and it looks better because there's more contrast. The transitions on this one are really nice, but I'm going to have to give it to this one for the belly. His head is kind of interesting because his eyes are yellow with black pupils, which is like the only accurate one out of the bunch. And I think it looks great. I still love these plain yellow eyes, though. And then the inside of his mouth is sort of like a maroon color. Can you see that? Anyway, and then his teeth are individually painted, which looks great. Really quick about the teeth while I'm at it. So here are all of their teeth. The thing that sticks out about this guy is, although his teeth aren't as bright, they are individually sculpted and it looks beautiful. While on this guy, they're individually painted, but not sculpted. It, it's actually just paint on a vinyl strip but then on this guy it's they're not individually painted or sculpted it's just white strips eh. also a quick thing to note is that um the Bandai Japan has like gray nails while this guy has shiny brown nails and this guy's nails aren't painted at all. Yeah, the paint job on these guys is... I don't know. They're, it's pretty good. I'll give it to the band I want for this, for number one. Number two... It's actually going to the Bandai Japan. So, first place Bandai Creation. Second place Bandai Japan. Third place NECA. Sorry, NECA. Um, so, now on to Articulation. As you can see, the Bandai Japan obviously has much more articulation than the others. Hopefully you can tell I'm joking. Um, yeah, it obviously goes to the NECA. The NECA name is, like, about articulation, so... You got the arms and the wrists and his torso, which is nice. His legs, his knees, and the feet. His tail has all the this articulation, which is great. Bendy wire in the end of the tail. Then up in the head where it, is where it gets cool. You have the neck, then the head, then the jaw. Now, this guy is excellent for stop motion, especially with, like, head shots. If you get a shot of this guy's head, you can make him look side to side. And it just looks so realistic. I love the posability in the head. I absolutely adore it. Um, so yes, fantastic. And then the jaw. I prefer to keep the jaw closed because I think it looks cooler. But because it doesn't really open that wide and the tongue is kind of sticking out there. So I prefer to keep the mouth closed and it still looks fantastic. So on the Bandai Creation, um, there obviously isn't much as, as much of art articulation. Blech. There's like three glue seal things in the tail, as you can see from under. One, two, three. 
But I think if you broke those, the tail would just come apart. Um, and then the legs move, but they're stiff, so they, they're not going to go 360. And they also can come out really stiff. And this is a really neat thing about this figure. The arms move, and they're also stiff. But as long as you keep the arms symmetrical, you can put this guy in a ton of poses, and he'll still look great. Like, even with just moving the arms, you can do him in this kind of a thing. You can do what I do and just keep him in sort of a... Like a casual thing like this. You can put him all the way in, which looks a little weird, but still pretty cool. You can even put him all the way out, and he looks great. And this guy's arms are awesome. Um, you can't really move anything. His head is, like, tilted this way, and he's in a battle pose. On most figures, I wouldn't like that, but this guy looks great. So articulation form is good. I like it. Then this guy is just a little bland. I mean, the way his arms move is strange. Sort of move, like, out. And it turns on his shoulders instead of at the top of his biceps. Kind of weird. It also makes for a strange paint transitions on the chest and shoulder. The legs also move, but they can come off really easily, so I'm not going to do it. And then... The tail wiggles a bit, but that's just because that's where you put it on. It's not real articulation. So for articulation... First place is NECA, obviously. Second place, I'm going to give to Bandai Creation. And third place is Bandai Japan. So, really quick, I'm also going to cover movie accuracy. So, movie accuracy, I'm going to have to say right off the bat that this guy's out. Just because of this, like, white belly and the weird mouth paint job, also the small head. He's out. Oops. And it comes down to these two. And this is where it becomes tough. Because this guy has more of like a cartoonish look almost. Or like in a comic book. This could very easily be a drawing from Matt Frank if it was like transposed into a comic book. Doesn't it just look like that? It just... Something about it looks cartoonish. Well, this guy has a really realistic look. And... You know, he looks like he was made to look like he was in real life. So, for movie accuracy, I'm gonna have to give it to NECA. Second place going to Bandai Creation. Third place going to Bandai Japan. So, what else is there to talk about? Sizing. Bandai Japan is actually a little too short. I don't like that. NECA is very average size. And then Bandai Creation is just a bit taller than everyone else. Yeah, he's just a little bigger and makes his it makes him size better. Um value and pricing. I think the easiest to find would go to NECA. He is valued at around twenty dollars. Um next easiest would be Bandai Creation. He may be around fifteen ten to fifteen dollars I'd say at Toys R Us, both these guys. This guy, unfortunately you'll have to either find it at a comic book shop or on the internet because he's a Japanese figure. So he's the hardest to find, and you'll probably find him for twenty to thirty dollars. But I'd say he's actually valued at around fifteen. So yeah. I'd say, um, so, which of these should you get? They're all valued at about the same, are all priced at about the same, so, which ones do you want to get? It's, now it's fully based on quality and preference. Um, I'm going to put Bandai Japan in third place, because I just feel like it lacks in too many aspects. So, third place... Now that's between these two. If you're an articulation person you want to do stop motions, you're definitely going to go with NECA. 
But if you're like a collector and you want a figure that fits in with all the others, you know, he's vinyl, looks really nice, I'd have to go with this guy. Um, which one is better, though? That's a really hard choice, because they're both really good. I'm gonna have to give it to Bandai Creation, because he's just so well made. I literally cannot find one flaw with Bandai Creation. So, well, maybe a few things, but that would be some hardcore nitpicking. So I'm gonna give first place to the Bandai Creation Godzilla 2014. It's an amazing figure. Definitely pick it up. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you didn't enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Be expecting more of these comparison videos in mid to late July. Also, tell me what other videos you want to see in the comments. And I'll see you guys on my next video.